up, everybody? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to Learn English with Cambridge. This is Vladimir Vlachi for my friends, and on today's video, we're going to learn some popular food idioms in English. For today's episode, we've got a really special guest. He's a content creator, businessman, and CEO here at Best English Institute. Please give it up for Mr. Kevin Donis. How are you doing, Kev? Hi, Blatchy, and I want to say hi to all the Learn English with Cambridge followers. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for accepting my invitation, man. Okay, Kev, so we're going to talk about healthy eating, and we're going to learn some popular food idioms in English. So let me ask you first, do you follow any special diet? Blatchy, no, I don't. I try my best to eat healthy. Following a strict diet is not as easy as pie. So that means very easy. I try my best to uh, eat healthy. In my case, I follow a diet, but I have cheat meals twice a month. A cheat meal is a plan permission to break your diet. Man, so I guess I have a cheat meal every weekend. <laughs> I like that idea to have a reward system in place for following a strict diet. It kind of spices things up, which means it adds excitement or interest to something. Okay, Kev, so right. next question. Okay. A part of a healthy diet is having the right nutrients. Do you have the recommended five portions of fruit and vegetables each day? <laughs> well, that's a hard nut to crack, which means something very difficult to solve or to understand or to do. I'm aware that I need to have a balanced diet, but I don't know if I could go as far as counting all my vegetables and fruit each day. Yeah, that sounds like too much, right? Too difficult, man. Okay, Kevin, so last question. Okay. I know you're really into working out, but I know also that you're a big burger fan. Yeah. So what do you think is more important, physical activity or having a healthy diet? Well, man, I wouldn't say one is more important than the other, right. but I think they're both equally important. That's sure. my opinion. You need to eat properly and you also need to have good rest for your body to get the benefits from physical activity, I believe. So what I'm trying to say is that you need to be aware of these factors and other factors and not put all your eggs in one basket, which means don't rely on only one thing. That's some useful information, Kev. I am one to think that if I exercise regularly, uh -huh. I could eat whatever I wanted. But I guess that's not the way the cookie crumbles, which means the way things happen. Okay, let's recap the food idioms we've learned today. First, we got as easy as pie, which means very easy. For example, practicing English with Learn English with Cambridge videos is as easy as pie. The next idiom was spike things up, mm -hmm. which means to make something more interesting or more exciting. Here is an example. Trying different exercise could be a good way to spy things up at the gym. Okay, here's another very interesting uh, idiom that we talked about. A hard nut to crack, which means something very difficult to do or to understand. A hard nut to crack. Okay, here's an example. Last lesson's topic was a hard nut to crack. Our fifth idiom was put your eggs in one basket, which means to rely only on one thing. For example, Try to think of another option if you don't get that job. Don't put your eggs in one basket. Okay, and finally, the way cookie crumbles, which means the way things happen. Here's an example. I don't like to go to the gym when it's too crowded, but I guess that's the way cookie crumbles at rush time. There you go. Sit food idioms you can start using right away. Let me know if you got them by writing an example in the comment section below. My teammate George also has a great video on food idioms, so make sure you go and check it out. The link is in the description box below.